Hmm. This is like that game, isn't it? A game of chicken! Sorry, but what's a game of chicken? Hello everyone, I'm Dean. Wait, I wasn't ready. Just shit! <laughs> <laughs> You're just going, man. <laughs> That's Tony. He's, uh, what? <laughs> There's a ring D. Huh? Let's <laughs> continue playing Dad, down. go ahead and recline your seat, dick. <laughs> it's All right, it's... I will right now. Okay, so that's... What the? <laughs> Actually... Quick, somebody do something about this voice that just... <laughs> <laughs> Dang it. Doesn't look like the detective is going to come. Come on, it's too early in the episode to make jokes about that. <laughs> <laughs> Might as well turn it off. It's pretty loud. All right. Actually, hold on. We need to raise that because I saw him toss his thing here. I'm probably gonna need to knock that 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 uh that that uh his yeah his binoculars around. Yeah, there we go. Or his go. binoculars are the thing you possess. Oh yeah, and then he's gonna call someone. Dang, I can't reach. So yeah. Uh yeah, so that do it again. Oh shit, where's it going? Now do it again! <laughs> okay, sure I guess. Throw them shits. Um Okay, so I don't know what this did for us. Okay, so oh right, shit. Uh, what does he mean this time? Mind your business. I like to do things my way, okay? She does it her way. <laughs> Inspector Cavanaugh is pretty protective when he comes to Lynn. He'd want to know. Yeah, so yeah, there's that. Yeah. Right. Time is passing. Yeah, I, mean, I can't really do anything, right? Like, I just gotta wait. I, I don't think. know. Try and turn on the friggin' light now, dude. Uh, there he goes. Can't answer that. If only you could get to that phone. What's the matter? What's the matter, you? <laughs> there, now turn on the light. No, he is he is way too dedicated to the job at the fuck, moment. Dude. Who is the detective talking to? Don't keep yelling at me about these things. But they might be talking about something ridiculously important. That's true, but still. Might be the person who really shot you. Now you're just throwing things out there. But in any case, looks like it's too late to get to the phone now. Darn, I think we missed our chance. Do we do we do want to get to the phone? Yeah, right? Like, I, I don't know. <laughs> I'm worried about that detective memory. After all, they call her the Lynn of the Special Investigation Unit. Dear God. <laughs> oh, oh, no. Damn. Oh well, did you hear that, Detective? At least it's better than me being called the memory of the detective division. At any rate, I better report to Inspector Cavanella before I worry about that listening device. There we go. Okay, so. I think that's yeah. That's that's our 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 friendo reporting in that she's planted the, the listening bug. device. Yeah, yeah, right. This is Point X. Come in, but Chief. Haven't we kind of read this already? Oh, I guess not. <laughs> you gotta damage your voice again. This is my my chance to course correct. Sure. I think. <laughs> the chief here. Did he show up? Uh, no, sir. Not yet, but. Idiot! I told you to stay off the radio unless it was something important. But this is important, sir. Somebody else showed up. Our rookie detective, Lynn. What? Oh, see. <laughs> <laughs> you see my baby over there? <laughs> yeah, I was like, what the fuck? What is this line? These need to be color coded or something. <laughs> yeah. Green is just over the radio. That's it. I guess. <laughs> what? You see my baby over there, do you? 
I heard she was on the lam. What do you want me to do, Chief? Detective! Oh, sorry, that's this guy again. <laughs> Fuck it, eh? Get my baby away from point X. Do it now, man. And then hold on to her. Yes, sir. I'll go get her now, sir. Alright, so... And then we're driving. Yeah. He's on the move! There isn't much time left. We have to stop him. Fast. Otherwise, he's going to crash into the chicken kitchen. Hmm. This is like that game, isn't it? A game of chicken! No! Sorry, but what's a game of chicken? Sorry. I better choose my audience more carefully the next time I tell a joke. Never mind that. We have to do something. Alright, so... Uh, what do we got? Flashing light. Seat lever. Binoculars. You know what? What? Let's recline the seat again. <laughs> I'm gonna kill him! Oh no. You're gonna <laughs> kill him faster, dude. <laughs> what do you think you're doing? Oh, uh... I just thought I'd better do something. Well, hurry up and put the seat back up! I can't! It's too heavy! All I can do now is hope this guy has strong ab muscles. He does not have strong ab- Wow, so that just fucking kills him. He doesn't work out. Wow! <laughs> Shit. Oh, wow. you peened it, son. <laughs> Okay, note to self, that instantly kills everyone. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> that was my bad. I get that you felt like you had to do something, but that? Well, there really isn't much I can do once the van is moving. We should rethink this. Was there any other path before that? So I have to get to the phone, right? That seems like the the, 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 I the meadow. Yeah. I, I gotta get there. You gotta do something. But can we even do anything from this? Anything, dude? No. See, that's the problem. Like, I can't get there. Uh... You can throw around the binoculars a little bit. Yeah. So yeah, he's gonna throw those in here. What if? Okay, okay, what if you have the seat down when he throws the binoculars on there? Sure, you know what, actually that might be a better idea. I straight up, like, I don't remember most of these. I sure as hell don't remember this one. Yeah. Also, did we even no. have this conversation? Oh, I, I thought that was something that you already said, shit. <laughs> His ass ain't reading. <laughs> I'm a fugitive! Naughty girl. His ass ain't reading. <laughs> Read, Dean, read! Oh! <laughs> what, go! <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I don't even know what the context is, man! <laughs> He's bullying her for being a fugitive. I guess. Yeah. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to make you upset. Girl's heart is a very delicate thing, you know. This from the girl a giant chicken couldn't even kill. It did kill me! Alright, so, yeah, you're right. Let's let's lower this. And we might as well try something. Yeah. And then let's wait for him to throw that on there. Okay, that didn't tell anything. Shit. Like, can you use that to get closer or something? Because if you... Uh, like, if you pop it up, it just... Goes on to the seat. He ain't right? got nothing on yeah. him, does he? Uh, I don't know. Let's... Look at him. Doesn't look like it. Yeah, no. Uh, yeah. What happens when I... it just it just moves it forward, right? I don't know. Yeah, it does. Try and ring the bell while he's there. Oh, you know that's a good idea. Maybe he'll actually respond. Yeah, uh, that's something. Yeah, you know, let's 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 see. Let's... He might grab, you know, actually here. You know Raise this. Hold on. Yeah, Don't okay. do it yet. Okay. Leave it. Okay. Let him go. Just see what he does. Okay, now do it. 
Fuck. We were supposed to raise the thing. Cause he was I was hoping friend. you could bean him with it. Yeah. I'll be real. <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay. If all right, let's all right, start. All right. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Take your ass, do it. Whatever. All right. Yeah, because he's, he's going to open the thing and be like, oh, my binoculars, and then he'll grab them. Okay. All right. Okay, well, I guess make sure you're in the binoculars when that happens. Yeah, makes sense. No. Okay. Go. Oh, yeah. Uh, Start I'm doing things. Well, I mean, don't do that yet, because you got it, the thing. Like, okay. you got to hit it with the thing. All right. It, like, because now you have an extra step where you have to put it back up and then lower it and then... Double hit it. Just bonk, bonk. Right. And then you got it. You got it one more time. What? One more time. Oh, yeah. One time. Okay, now do it. Right. And then, okay, there we go. Now he's gonna grab that. And In now theory. Gonna, hopefully. Hey, there we go. What are these doing here? There we go. And then now he's gonna answer the phone, and now we get to talk. And now you to get in the phone. Detective Memory. Memory. Yeah, it's an odd name, isn't it? Yeah, right. What's the matter, me? What's the matter, you? <laughs> Detective Ranch? This is Memory. What's the matter? It's not time for you. Are you doing through. your missile voice for her? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I gotta work up to me. It's so high pitched, man. <laughs> okay. What's the matter? It's not time for a regular report. Listen to this! There's a suspicious couple in the bar upstairs! I'm gonna put a ladybug on him! A ladybug? You mean a listening device? Don't do anything to blow our cover! Inspector Cabanello will be furious. But they're doing all kinds of suspicious whispering! We have to find out what they're saying! You can pick up the signal from your van! Check out their conversation for me, would ya? Alright, fine. Once you get going on something, I know there's no stopping you. Thanks! Later then! Hold on. Did you see a customer come in right now? A young woman with red hair and red boots? Oh yeah, that restless suspicious chick, sure! Suspicious? I mean, come on! As soon as she sat down, she ordered three whole glasses of water in a row! So she doesn't know who it is? I can't. <laughs> okay. Then she spilled the second glass on the table. Okay, fine. Keep your eye on her, too, if you would. You got it! Oh, wow. That waitress was an undercover agent. I guess Lynn doesn't know either. Apparently. Yeah, sure. <laughs> they don't know about each other. <laughs> Even though she's the lid of the Special Investigation Unit. <laughs> and apparently she thought you were pretty suspicious, too. Oh, yeah. Sorry. I was really thirsty, so, you know. <laughs> um, no. I don't know. Anyway, did you hear what I heard about the listening device? We have to do something about that bug. So, should we stay here or follow up on the waitress? Looks like it's time to make a decision. I'm gonna, I'm gonna guess go there is the option. Like the fuck else do we have? Yeah. <laughs> you could check out that poster. I don't know what that's doing for us. <laughs> oh, that's fine. Let's go. Trace. Oh no! -da 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 -da. What? I said, oh no. Yet. She's talking about all this right next to the chef. Hey, look where we are. The heart of the chicken kitchen, eh? Yep. Or as most people say, the kitchen. The chicken kitchen kitchen? <laughs> Where the chicken is made. The chicken, the chicken kitchen kitchen chicken. <laughs> I think he has 11 herbs and spices too. Of course, he's got to keep 11 herbs and spices inside of the chicken kitchen kitchen chicken <laughs> kitchen. You think he plays Monster Hunter? <laughs> No one else is gonna get that joke, not even Dean. <laughs> what? Do you think he wants to be a monster hunter, monster hunter? There was there was that crossover event with uh, P 
Peace Walker where they had the Raffalos? Yeah, yeah. And and there was uh, what what what's Chico. the kid's name? Yeah, Chico. And he wants to grow up to be a monster hunter, monster hunter, and hunt <laughs> and hunt monster hunter, hunter, monster hunters. Sure. <laughs> <sighs> I hope the kid. <laughs> I hope that. Uh, <laughs> My brain went into tongue twister mode, now I'm just... Yeah. How do words work? You just broke it. <laughs> I hope the key to preventing that accident is in here somewhere. Oh, I bet it will be. You know what they say. Where there's smoke and chicken, there's fire. I... Okay. Sure, why not? Yeah, absolutely. Mm, now that you mention it, it is pretty smoky in here. Alright. Fate? What What fate was changed? Fate was changed. I don't know what fate, but it was changed. So fate was changed. Scrunch and stretch. Uh, you know what? Let's, let's mess the switch. What's wrong? I can't seem to raise the switch. It won't budge. Yeah, well, not surprising considering this whole place is sticky with grease. Ben must be stuck. This man does not clean. Oh. Yeah, it does feel pretty sticky. But if the switch were already raised, I bet I could manage to lower it. Alright, so... Don't think about restaurants. That's... Such a <laughs> uh, uh, uh. That's really all I have to say on the matter. Uh, don't say words to me. Hot. Kettle Rock. Chef's Hat. What the... <laughs> oh, right. He's got a... What? Is that a bottle That's of a wine? a bottle in his hat, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, he's Damn, got a dude. bottle. <laughs> uh, <let's see. laughs> he's got it on lock. Was that in there during the, the murder? Yeah. <laughs> hey, look at what she's doing. You think that could be... Yeah, she's probably planting the ladybug. Now that I think about it, it's this waitress's meddling that starts the whole chain of events. The detective wouldn't have gotten his ears blown out and wouldn't have crashed. In other words, we're witnessing it with our own eyes. The cause of a huge disaster slowly being planted in a chicken. Hey, I just had a good idea. About what to do about the ladybug? No, I was thinking we could let her get crushed under the chicken instead of me. I can't tell if you're kidding. At any rate, now we've seen the root cause of the accident. And all we have to do now is think of a way to take care of it. Oh, I know exactly what's going on here. <laughs> oh, yeah? Yeah, no, he, he's cooking another one, and the, and that uh, that pushing that foot pedal switches them. So I got to switch the, the, the chickens here. Okay, well, what? Yeah, I'm, I, I'm trying to think of a way to get back. Oh, it's that, that's still not long enough. No, but, and also, how are you going to get to that... Wait, wait, she's doing a thing. She's doing a thing. <laughs> What's she doing? She's flipping a switch. All right, so that clears up the smoke. That clears up the smoke, mm -hmm. which we probably don't want. Yeah, so lower, slower right now. Yeah, maybe. Do it, right. see what happens to you. That's... I'm just gonna hang out here for a second. Oh, hey! Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, there, there we go. Perfect. So that... <laughs> <laughs> oh, damn, look at that swag! <laughs> there she goes. It's smoky in here. There we go, perfect. Then we're set. Yeah, okay, there we go. Okay, You've we got done this. it. We've right. done, done it again. We've averted disaster. Why is he cooking a third chicken? That's gonna be the- wait, no, don't, Jad already has his. <laughs> yeah. Maybe Chad wants a second one. <laughs> there! How about that? The ladybug is still sitting on the table! We did it! Whew! Oh no, now we have to listen to this man sing. La la la, chicken! 
I was like, oh, it's a beautiful chicken. What the fuck is this? <laughs> I took a bite, my heart set with fried, and I got goosebumps. What the heck is this? I'm consumed with the love of consuming you, la la la. Oh my. See, unfortunately, now she's just gonna have the reputation of that person who bugged the chef, and not those those assassins up there. <laughs> yep. <laughs> well, it looks like you've escaped the fate of being hammered by a horrible hen. Yes, but I still haven't escaped the worst darkness of this terrible night. I shot you, didn't I? Murder's no excuse for ignoring my alliteration. <laughs> there must have been some sort of complicated set of circumstances that made you do it. It's never okay to shoot a person, no matter what the circumstances. Hey, shouldn't that be my line? But anyway, you were investigating a case and I was supposed to give you information on that case. Maybe it's time you told me about it. Tell me about the case you're looking into. Yes, I guess I should. But let's go back to the new present first. Okay, sure. Doesn't seem like a great idea, but okay. Well, <laughs> Back in the new present, the delicious aroma of chicken fills the air, but I'm still thinking about Lynn. I wonder if she's still waiting for her chicken to be served. I decided to go see her, see her and ask the questions that were still consuming me while she consumes this chicken. All right, so... You know who else consumes chicken? Muscle Detective Joe! <laughs> 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 fucking everybody, apparently. I, it's, it's, everyone fucking loves this place. It's just gotta be like one of those- It's look, the restaurant. Yeah. Right? If you have a chef with a schnoz like that, that looks like chicken, that's good shit. <laughs> he, he's so dedicated to the craft, he got himself plastic surgery to have a chicken schnoz. <laughs> hmm. Come to think of it, I don't see that chicken waitress. If her cart were here, she could take me out to the dining area. Maybe using the telephone would be faster. Oh. I'd better hurry up and get to Lynn. Yeah, it's not like you can interact with a chicken anyway. Yeah, so... Let's... But you can just zip out. Makes sense. Whee! Chicken, kitchen, kitchen, chicken. <laughs> Should Camila be here by now, too? You'd think, right? <laughs> you know what? Maybe it's better that she's a little late. <laughs> sure. Unless she's dead somewhere. Oh, oh, man. The disastrous accident has been completely erased. Once again, I've saved the red-headed detective from death. Saved Lynn, the criminal who stole my life. One question in particular hangs heavy on my mind. Why did she shoot me? Until I know the answer, I'll never be satisfied. <laughs> Look at her go, shit. Meanwhile, Lynn's appetite is apparently foremost in her mind. A golden brown chicken sits on the table in front of her. Until she eats the whole thing, she'll probably never be satisfied. Oh no. Poor detectives got to sit there, oh, minding her while she eats a whole chicken. Right? Oh, look at her go! Is Lynn having a serious talk with that detective? Nah, she's just go gobbling down chicken. How did the detectives know to stake out this restaurant tonight? I'd better see if I can get some information. But more importantly, I have lots of questions questions for that lady detective. Eat the phone book! Actually, can I? No. Yeah, no, she's nothing. Wait, what's the signboard say? Damn it, never mind. Yeah, nothing. <laughs> Alright.
What? Get in there! Oh, I didn't know you were here, Detective Rin. Just to come to see me, didn't you? What kind of name is that? Ringe. Ringe. No idea. Oh, oh, that's so sweet. Ringy. Oh, hi, Memory. Don't mind us. Just pretend we're not here. Why don't you try some chicken while you're here? No, thanks. Just watching Lyndon eat is quite enough for me. Damn. So, how'd it turn out with my ladybug? Oh, that listening device? Well, let's see. I thought the gentleman had a very nice singing voice. Sorry, but we're in the middle of an important talk. Could you leave us to it? No! Stay right there! Huh? I'm at the crucial moment with this chicken here. I'll need you to pour me some water if it starts going down wrong. Lynn, you don't have to risk your life over chicken, you know. He's right. Sheesh. Anyway, I better move now while I have the chance. Hmm, that's funny. Even though I just saved that detective, he doesn't have a core. It's interesting, actually. Not like the one Lin has, or that valiant little doggy missile. I thought the ones I save are supposed to dev develop a core when they're alive again. I guess I still have things to learn about these powers of the dead. That is weird. Yeah, right? Well, I'm heading back! Lots of things to do, you know? Yeah, like washing dishes and planting bugs. Someday, I'll plant a big one on you, Detective! Odd girl. I agree! <laughs> Me too. <laughs> <laughs> you just sniped your line, man! It's fine. <laughs> Ah, oh, fuck, now I gotta talk to myself. Look at what you've done. <laughs> Listen, Lin. You've explained your side and I understand. But there's an APB out on you. Can't you at least hurry up and get out of here? You know, slip away quietly. No can do. I'm meeting somebody here. Meeting somebody? Oh yeah, that's right. The little lady, Camilla. But why do you have to meet somebody here? The special investigation unit is watching this restaurant. Now, how can that be a coincidence? I don't know, but it is a coincidence. Uh, hey, is it true what they say? That you're still looking into Detective Jowd's case on your own? Inspector Cabanella is worried about you, you know. I understand how you feel, but just don't do anything crazy, okay? Still eating. She didn't give a fuck. Yeah, right, let's go talk to her. <laughs> so how's that chicken you've been waiting so long for? It's great! But, you know... Detective Ringe, that's his name by the way, sitting right across from me. I, I, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, he was just dead a few moments ago, right? It's kind of taking the edge off my appetite. Oh, brother. Well, he's a great guy. He understands my situation, he said. He's gonna give me a pass, just for tonight. Speaking of Detective Ringe... Wow, how have you guys been saying that name this whole time? <laughs> Ringe. I noticed something strange. He doesn't have a core now. He doesn't? I thought a core was supposed to show up once I saved somebody. Hmm... I wonder if... When you possessed his corpse, he was unconscious, right? Unconscious? Yeah. He was, wasn't he? Just like you. You were unconscious the first time I saved you, too. And after I saved you, you didn't have a core either. So, for people who are unconscious when you save them, no core shows up. I think that's... Nice hand wave. A little bit. I think that's probably what it is. You know, they, they go, they went out of the way to try to at least explain it, so... 
points. Yeah. <laughs> they, they probably realize, like, oh, holy shit, you're going to save half of the cast by the end of this. Yeah, like, we, 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 we have, can't have everybody know. We can't have no. bonds with everyone. We have, like, 30 different people. If everybody has a core and everybody's, a, you know, able to know, oh, shit, ghosts are real and they save my life? Yes. And actually, Lin is in, in, innocent? <laughs> like, probably creates a problem yeah, with the story. Yeah, sure. You might be right. Okay, I'll leave Ringe to you then. But I've still got lots and lots of questions for you. Yeah, I thought you would. Let's get started then. Can we oh, save right. them for next time? Uh, can we? No! Ah! <laughs> Let's just ah! I know. Why? Every time, every time, every time. <laughs> Let's just go. Let's go. Let's Do go. it. What is your connection to Prisoner D-99, Detective Chow? He seems what? He seems like more than just a co-worker. Yes, I suppose you have the right to know. Detective Chow is my hero. Hero, huh? You don't hear that word much anymore. Well, it's an old-fashioned heroic kind of story. It happened ten years ago. This is Chow. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> um. Shit. <laughs> you lost. Him. I don't know. Just reach deep. I'm trying to think of like dad. <laughs> oh, like some dad energy. Yeah. Now just calm down and drop that weapon. Who, who do we think this is? That's a good question. Oh. Oh, I think I know who it is. <laughs> okay, do you have Wait. a voice on that? Or... No, I have no idea. I, this can't be who I think it is. S stay back! If you come any closer, I'll shoot her! Wait, I think it is who I think it is. Oh, snap. It's the guy, it's the man, it's the myth, it's the legend. On that day, ten years ago, I was playing in my favorite park. And then suddenly... Somebody grabbed my arm from behind. I was so scared. I thought I was going to die. And then... He appeared. Detective Jowd. And then that really loud sound. I think it was the sound of a gun. I passed out. When I came to... You're all right now. Are you hurt? You... you saved me, mister? I was just doing my job. The gods, they're the ones who saved you. What's your job, mister? Me? I'm a police detective. So that's why... oh, sorry. <laughs> I keep doing that, I know. I'm sorry. You want, we can switch. That's yeah, fine, no, you want. So that's why you became a detective, huh? That's right. He was my ideal of what a detective was all about. But an ideal detective doesn't shoot and kill his own wife. Exactly. And that's why I want to prove that he didn't. Detective Ringe works for the Special Investigation Unit. He said an important deal is set to go down here tonight at this restaurant. A deal that could affect the future of our nation. A nation isn't something that's easily influenced, though. But that's what he said. Anyway, it's that couple at the table upstairs. I hear they're foreigners. They're waiting for the other party in this deal to show up now. Racism? Those two, huh? They certainly are an odd pair. Is this other party they're waiting for... me? It's kind of hard to imagine, isn't it? Nobody really knows any de- the d uh, Nobody really knows of the details of the deal, except for one person. 
Even when he's not here, he's dancing. <laughs> Mr. Breezy Dancer in a white suit. Oh, I think this is you. Uh, they say you've been watching the movements of those two for a long time. I've never seen him work so frantically on an investigation before. Inspector Cabanella, eh? Apparently, you're a real favorite of his. A favorite? Yes, well, there's a reason for that. And what's that? Oh, oh shit. shit. <laughs> the backstory. Inspector Cabanella and Detective Jab were good friends. Yeah, I think I remember a prison guard saying something about that. They joined the detective division the very same day. They're two very different types, but they were always in friendly competition to be the best. Detective Jab was very was always very particular about thorough investigation of the crime scene. While Detective Cavanella worked on his dance moves. <laughs> and Inspector Cavanella, well, I guess he just has a natural genius for investigating. Anyway, those two led the detective division in those days. They also got their puffed of hair going different directions. <laughs> oh my oh, god. Oh shit, that is true. <laughs> but Inspector Cavanella is different now. He changed a little. He changed? Ever since the Detective Jow incident. Now he distances himself from field work. And he's starting to focus on nothing but moving up the ladder. Hmm. And so that's how he became head of the special investigation unit, I take it. Anyway, Inspector Cabanella took me under his wing. Because you were the little girl of his good friend saved, huh? He really looked out for me, helping me study for my detective's exam. Fudging my exam scores for me. Oh my god. <laughs> um. <laughs> uh, that goes a little beyond the scope of looking out for you. Inspector Cabanella, eh? I wonder what role he plays in everything that's happening tonight. I, wait, so. So? So is, now he's the head of the special investigation unit? Yes. Which me like he's working his way up the ladder and he used to run the detective unit with Chowd. Yes. So doesn't that mean memories above Lynn? <laughs> Possibly. <laughs> I think technically yeah. Oh my god. Can so I compare like the most immediate real world comparison I'm making based on the dialogue is like police and SWAT. Sure. sure. Okay. Or police and detectives. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They're different. But there are police yeah. in this, and they are below detectives, so yeah. maybe it's like. I don't know, man. <laughs> yeah. right. Detectives and then FBI? <laughs> Something. Except they're all under police chief. Yeah. <laughs> mm, Who knows? I'm, I, I'm not versed enough. No. Everything okay. I know about police hierarchy, I learned from friggin'. L.A. Noir. Sure. <laughs> it sure is taking Camila long enough. She should have been here by now. I'm getting really worried. Oh no, she's dead. Damn. You two are like sisters, aren't you? That's what Camilla said. Yep, that just about sums it up. Doesn't look like being worried affected your appetite much, though. Hey, the bigger the crisis, the more a girl's gotta eat. I have to make sure Camila stays safe, no matter what. Camila, and that music box, too. Music box? Oh yeah, that wooden box! That box was a present from Detective Jowd. From Detective Jowd? Yes, it was five years ago. That box arrived three days after that murder incident. He must have sent it just before he was arrested. Someday, when the case is when the case is over and everything is settled, I want you to give this to a certain person, he said. 
So what's inside? I don't know. I can't open it. Hmm. That's a shame. Sissel, I... Did I really shoot you? Where did that come from? Out of the blue. I really don't remember. I've tried and I tried, but I just can't. Now I finally understand how you must feel. And how hard it is to have your memory gone. Your story erased. But who knows? Knowing the truth might be even harder. I'd rather believe there's hope myself. Dang. Dang indeed. Tore through that. Somehow there's only a giant that bone left. <laughs> that's, right. that's how they make their chicken. It's just, fuck, I actually... One oh my god, dang it! <laughs> how is this the life? Dude? Yeah, right? All right. Do I have chicken on my face? You're staring. We can't. We have to be close to the chapter. We, that's around. what I'm thinking. I think we're gonna change chapter after this scene. Okay. I bet you're thinking about how impressed you are with the way I took care of that chicken. Just tell me one thing. This case you say you're looking into, is it Detective Jouds? What if it was? I I can't keep it from you. It's too cruel. Huh? What? What are you talking about? I'm sorry, Lynn. It's... it's tonight. Detective Jowd's... you know, it's tonight. His execution. But there's still time. I looked into it, and I found out all the executions in this country are carried out at dawn. That may be the norm, but not this time, I'm afraid. I what? also haven't had an execution in decades. Yeah. <laughs> the execution is set for 11 p.m. What did you say? It's going to happen pretty soon. Shit. Isn't there anything we could do to stop it? Of course not. It's too late now. Now it's without a stay of execution from the Justice Minister. Oh, shit. Yeah, that's why. I, oh, that's where we're going. Yeah, right. I'm gonna go see him then. Time to <laughs> get killed by the prime minister. <laughs> what? See who? Who else? The justice minister. Don't be ridiculous. There's not enough time. I'm going. Cecil. Me? Get to the prison. Stop that execution. Easy enough for you to say. Detective Ridge, I'll be going now. Okay, I'll let you go this time. I'll tell him I was distracted because I was eating chicken. Also, who the hell were you shouting at? <laughs> Is there anything else I could do? Could you find Camila? She's supposed to be on her way here. Oh, your little Camila. Okay, you got it. I'll look for her. Okay, you know what to do, Sissel. You have to save Detective Jowd. Who the how hell the, is Sissel? How the hell are we even going to do that? <laughs> right. I thought we were going with her to see the minister. <laughs> the life of yet another person I'm connected to is... The life of yet another person I'm connected to is somehow going to end to fuck me. <laughs> what is my life? The life of yet another person I'm connected to somehow is about to end tonight. Could it be a coincidence? Or is there something more behind it all? I'm telling you, those tongue twisters fried my brain. <laughs> right? Detective Jowd is destined to be executed tonight. I don't know if that fate is the wrong one for him or the right one, but I've decided to go to the prison anyway. Next time on Ghost Trick. Oh, thank God. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 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 Dude, I don't know. All right, that was that was a heady chapter. It's it's a what? Heady. You can't say that on national TV. We'll get out of here. Anyways, we'll we'll take a break and we will be back. Bye. Bye. Where am I?
This is the ghost world. The land of the dead, Detective Jowd. Detective Jowd? Who is that? Is that me? Oh boy, not you too. This is getting old. 